Hello all of you wonderful viewers and welcome back to the Matt VidPro AI YouTube channel. If you are a subscriber of this channel, you'll know by now that mostly on this channel we cover AI art. It's really what's been exploding in the AI world lately and obviously that's what I've been covering. Sometimes, however, I do cover other little AI projects, of course, because I really want to show you guys the coolest stuff. Today we've got two different products that are AI based that are really focused around productivity, making your life either better for your personal organization skills or your business life. They're a little different from each other, but they do share some similarities. And I definitely think they are very important for you viewers to know about. And I'm really hoping that you guys will be intrigued by these. Before we get into it, though, one quick note. Viewers at home, if you're interested in AI projects like you see today, if you want to know the latest and greatest AI news, and you want to interact with a great AI community, I highly recommend that you go down and join my Discord server, which is linked down below. The Discord server is focused on bringing the community together to provide the best AI resources and the best and fastest links to the latest and greatest AI stuff that's going on in this space. And the more people that we have on the Discord server, the better it becomes. With that being said, let's get right into today's video. So like I said, we have two different AI to discuss in today's video. First up, we're talking about Notion AI. So Notion's not a traditional AI company. Traditionally, they were a note-taking and productivity app that's actually very popular for iOS and Android and I think on your computer as well. However, they're introducing Notion AI Alpha. Leverage the limitless power of AI in any Notion page. Write faster, think bigger, and augment creativity like magic. It's looking to be a productivity boost, and it has a waitlist right now. I really want to show this off to you guys as soon as I possibly can. So if you click the link down in the description below and join the Notion AI waitlist yourself with my link, I will be bumped up on that waitlist in a higher position. So the more of you at home join this waitlist with my link, the faster I can get that video out to you guys really exploring Notion AI. Anyways, Notion AI seems to be similar to something like GPT-3 by OpenAI, but really correlated in some specific productivity areas. Whereas GPT-3 is a general text model, it can do probably some of the stuff that we see here with Notion AI, but Notion AI really seems to be fine-tuned into that productivity category. So they have this little demo we can see here where it shows blog post assisting. It'll write an entire blog post, which is really cool, or it'll brainstorm ideas for you. So it's really this business-focused or productivity-focused application, it seems. As you can see, save time, write faster, let Notion AI handle the first draft. And it seems like it will really handle and write a pretty robust little first draft of a paper, for example, blog posts, YouTube descriptions even, any number of different text-based tasks. And as you can see, here is some examples that Notion provides for us. Blog post, write the page title, Notion AI will take care of the rest. This is really cool. Again, GPT-3 could probably do something very similar to this, but I don't think it would do it as well because, again, these are heightened focused productivity tasks that Notion AI is focused on, and GPT-3 by OpenAI is really just focused on a text model that can do it all. Meeting agenda, provide a topic and Notion AI will outline your entire agenda for you. That's actually really cool. Something I've never tried to do with GPT-3 before, but I would be very excited to test something like that out. And I think you viewers at home would like to see that as well. Social media posts. GPT-3 can definitely do stuff like this, but I would love to test it with Notion. A press release, which is really, really interesting. Go to market without having to become an expert in PR. So this will write a press release about whatever topic or whatever product you might ask it to. Really, really interesting. Something I never had thought before of. Job description. Start with basic requirements and watch as the rest takes shape. So let's say you are an employer. You need to hire some people and you need to put those on LinkedIn or whatever. This can just write out the job descriptions for you. Really, really cool. I think GPT-3 could do this as well. But again, this seems like it's a lot more streamlined, a lot easier to get out of the Notion text model at least from their demos. Sales email, grab attention and cut through noise in exciting new ways. In marketing, there's something called psychological noise. This is where there's so many different advertisements out there in the world that 
A lot of times when you're trying to advertise or send emails out, you'll just get lost in the sea of all emails. It's hard to make one that stands out, and apparently Notion has the solution for you. Their AI is going to be able to cut through that noise and give you a really good sales email. Very interested to see how that works. And a poem here. This is more of just like a fun thing. Write a cute haiku about robots, burritos, or your quarterly OKRs. Pretty funny there, but this is something actually I've noticed that GPT-3 by OpenAI, I know I'm comparing it a lot to that. They're both text models. GPT-3 has a hard time making rhyming haikus or poems. It can write haikus and poems very well, but not ones that rhyme. I want to see if this one can rhyme. And then we've got a pros and cons list. Actually could be extremely useful, and I really want to test this one. Think through scenarios you have not originally considered. You could take any scenario that pops into your head, and this will give you a list of cohesive pros and cons. I really would like to try to bend the rules with this one and see what it can put out and see it when we can get this one to break, you know what I'm saying? Give it some really weird scenarios. And finally, outline. Create instant structure and stay in creative flow. This outline one seems like it could really destroy the barriers to creativity. I'm sure if any of you have been writing papers for school, for example, and you just get lost and you don't really know where to start or where to finish your sentence, the outline really seems like it could help with that scenario. So again, that one could be very useful. All of these are pretty useful. And it really does seem to be a writing helper, a text model at the end of the day. They also say it's going to be a powerful editor as well, summarization, which GPT-3 can definitely do pretty well. When I make a video on Notion, I am definitely going to be comparing it to GPT-3. Fix spelling and grammar. Actually, a lot of the spelling and grammar checks that I come across aren't as good as you might think. And translate. Translate text in line. Skip Google search. GPT-3 can also do translation pretty well. So Notion AI is launching today, the date I am making this video. Access will be granted on a first-come, first-served basis to those who join the waitlist. I'll be interested to see if there's anyone in my Discord server who gets access. But again, if you want me to make a video about it sooner rather than later, please join the waitlist through my link in the description. This really is bringing us more into the age of AI assistants that help you do your productivity tasks. Very, very exciting stuff. That's really what I am super excited for in terms of AI is help me live my life better, help me organize my life better, take care of that portion of my life that I just don't want to deal with, and help me be more creative in some ways and express myself better. Super exciting stuff. All right, moving on to our next little piece, Galactica. This was made with Meta AI. This is a huge 120 billion parameter model. This is a text model that is based around productivity, but specifically on humanity's scientific knowledge. Really, really interesting and intriguing. Something I had never thought to do with AI before. You can use it as a new interface to access and manipulate what we know about the universe. This one has a demo for you folks to try at home today, and I'll link it down below, completely free to test out. It can generate literature reviews, wiki articles, lecture notes, which is really cool, maybe for some of you folks out there in university, and it can generate answers to questions as well. I'm sure it can do a few other things as well. It's a text model after all. They're usually pretty versatile. And yes, this is a collaboration, like I said earlier, Meta AI Papers with Code. Let's just give this thing a shot. We're just going to take a shot in the dark here. Lecture notes all about lemons, and we'll click the generate button. And as you can see, there's a queue here. That's how they're keeping it free for now. The queue isn't super long. It's about 80 seconds. But I assume after this video goes live, this queue might get a little bit bigger. But you still might be able to get stuff in within a few minutes. So it has completed our generation. Lecture notes all about lemons. By the way, it does have this thing up here that says, This article has not been verified by a human, so please treat generations with caution. Meaning they might be wrong. Lecture Notes All About Lemons is a book by the Australian physicist and philosopher Paul Davies. Is this a real guy? Oh yeah, no, Paul, Paul Davies is a real physicist, so I got that right. I don't know if he wrote about lemons, but we got the contents here, which is cool to see. It's generating contents, like an article. And there's only one thing here, overview. Davies' book is an analysis of the philosophy and mind and its relation to the mind-body problem. I am guessing this is real, I would imagine. Davies proposes that a physicalist Theory of mind is not only theory that can solve the mind-body problem. I don't know where the lemons come in. 
He argues that the theory of dualism is logical contradiction because the mind and body cannot be logically separate from each other, but are logically connected by their interaction. Now, that's some deep stuff. Yeah, I'm not seeing how this relates at all to Lemons. The rest of it is just more about the book. I have no doubt that all of this is true, but this has nothing to do with lecture notes about Lemons. So completely wrong on this front, but that was a weird prompt. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I want to test its knowledge on recent events. Let's do a wiki article on Doll E2, and we'll see if it has any knowledge of such a recent creation. Welcome to the Doll E2 article on Wikiversity. Doll E2 is a model that was created by OpenAI, and it's an example of how AI can create images. Yes, it knows about Doll E2. Let's go. This model is knowledgeable about recent events. The model was trained by having it watch lots of images, and then the model was able to create images based on what it's taught. I mean, that's a very rudimentary explanation of how Dolly 2 works, but technically, pretty true. We even have three different contexts here. We have the model, the result, example. The model, trained on images, learned on patterns of images, wide variety of images. I mean, this is like really basic information here. Te shown a text string, creates an image that matches the text string result. The result is a creative images. I, I mean, yeah, I guess so. An example of what the model can do is shown below. Yeah, we can't see that, unfortunately. The model is taught on an image of a human face and then whatever. I, I mean, it's getting there. This is definitely a really good proof of concept. I don't know if it really works in the real world so far. As a paper and a demo, though, it's pretty darn cool. I really suggest you guys mess around with this and share some creations in my Discord so we can all enjoy them. I'm going to push the boundaries a little bit and say do a product review of Coca-Cola. I don't think it's necessarily trained to do a product review of Coca-Cola, but interested. Oh, I just see this queue gets bigger every single time. A lot of people must be using this right now. Product review of Coca-Cola. Okay, it seems to have tried to do it. And it, again, does it more like a wiki article with contents, key information, product review, and history. I like it. Coca-Cola is the most widely consumed soft drink in the world, produced by the Coca-Cola company, publicly traded. I do believe it is in Atlanta, Georgia. That sounds correct. The company sells the drink in over 200 countries around the world. I believe that is also true. Um, interestingly enough, the product review doesn't exist in here. It didn't actually do the review portion of the contents, but it did the history. Again, it's really mainly more traded to do like wiki articles, information about scientific stuff, educational not necessarily a product review, but it did give us a good history of Coca-Cola, and I'm pr I, bet, I bet this would be true if you were to research this. I love this warning at the bottom. Outputs may be unreliable. Language models are prone to hallucinate text. I love that word in conjunction with text models. Hallucination. They just hallucinate ideas into existence, and you know what? Isn't that just creativity at the end of the day? Very interesting to think about. I would consider that hallucination. It's definitely hallucinating things into existence, but it can be very useful in creative applications. Very, very interesting concept. Up-to-date information on July 2022. Pretty up-to-date. More up-to-date than GPT-3, that's for sure. Anyways, fascinating little model. As you can see, it can do a number of different things here. Large corpus comprising of more than 360 million context citations. Over 50 millions of unique references normalized across diverse set of resources. This enables Galactica to suggest citations and help discover related papers. Cool. Again, this is really on the productivity front of things, like we saw before with Notion. Machine learning. It can do these random formulas. And the math, for example. I don't know anything about this math formula, but I guess that's correct because it's the example they gave us. Computer science stuff. Pretty cool. So uh, that's pretty interesting. Reminds me a little bit of Codex by OpenAI, which is like GPT-3, but code. Biology, even a survey on whatever this hypothesis is. I guess that's Alzheimer's disease. And physics as well. So E equals MC squared. Yes, Einstein was German. So this is all just German. Surprisingly enough, scientific from scratch, trained on novel high quality scientific data set called Nature Book making the model capable of working with scientific terminology, math, and chemical formulas, as well as source codes. Pretty versatile. I, I like to see it. Yeah, so let me know if you guys can get anything really cool out of Galactica, and send that in my Discord server down below. 
Anyways, viewers, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave it a like. And if you want to see me make a video on Notion AI sooner rather than later, please make sure you join the waitlist with my link in the description. Leave a like if this video provided good information. And let's have a discussion about all of this in the comments below. I love having these AI discussions with you viewers at home. See you in the next one. Goodbye.